We are live. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Backstage Pass. All right, we're just getting things set up. Jill is in New Mexico. I am here in California, holding down the fort. Jill, tell them what's happening in New Mexico. Well, we are about to have a new baby. Um, not us, yes. not Jill and me, but a grandbaby. <laughs> Our daughter, Brittany, um, is uh, getting ready to have our seventh grandchild. So um, anytime between now and Sunday, uh, when she will be induced. And, uh, and so we're super excited about that. And I'm here in Albuquerque hanging out with them uh, as we, we prepare for the arrival of Liam. Little of Liam. Liam. Liam, Liam. Liam's on his way. As you guys tune in, uh, let us know where you're from. And um, you can comment on Facebook. Uh, yeah, where you're at, where you're watching. State, yeah. State. We don't need yeah. your exact address. It's weird yeah. for us because we're in two different places. So I don't know if we're going to talk over each other or it's just weird. <laughs> it's like, hello, Bray. Hello, Jill. In Cyberland. <laughs> so far away. It's strange. It's strange. But uh, one heart. One heart. And, uh, and excited to be here with you. Um, let us know Julie, who you are. Julie from Colorado Springs. Who's from Colorado Springs? I can't see. Julie Ballard. Julie, yeah. yay! I'm excited to have you join us tonight in this very weird Zoomy kind of uh, backstage pass. Julie's an amazing not, publisher. She loves championing, championing authors and helping them get published. Yes. Santee, we got Justina. Hi, Justina. One of our Hi, Justina. Trees girls. And. Um, Yes, we love you too, Julie. Um, we're excited for tonight. We're going to be talking about prayer, 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 prayer for today. What does it look like? How do you do it? Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Does it work? We're going to tell you the right spell ingredients to put in your prayers. Yes, all the right, you know. All the right stuff. Wrinkle a lot of Jesus in there and stuff happens. <laughs> stuff does happen. Oh, now I can see comments. I couldn't see comments for a while. Hi, Maria. We got Maria from Colombia. That's right. She's translating books into Espanol. She is. She is amazing. So we're getting a Kingdom Writers devotional in Spanish. We're getting Jill's Supernatural Creativity book in Spanish. She's also working on my first epic fantasy book, The Orb of Truth in Spanish. She's she helped is. many authors get their books translated. So if you need a book translated, you can go to KingdomWritersAssociation.com. And her information is under the resource page there. She's fantastic. And Jeez. we've got Jill Elizabeth Wyckoff from New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> we are, you know, we're just representing all over the place here, which we is got, fun. We got Jessica. Well, Jessica, okay, hi. G B U A. What does that mean? Uh, do you know what that means, honey? G B U A. From I do. Great Britain, something, no? Um, Jessica, where are you from? <laughs> it's a mystery someone tell me i don't know but it's fascinating what's gbua it's probably something i'll know as soon as you say it it'll come up eventually but hi yeah. Jessica. god yeah. bless you all there you go maria figured it out <laughs> oh maria <laughs> uh jessica sierra vista Come on. It, it took our Spanish translator to, our, to translate that, uh, that for us. That's our awesome. Vista and Arizona families representing Jessica. Oh, yes. Sierra Vista. God bless you all. Love Thank Sierra Vista. 
<laughs> Thank you, Maria. That's hilarious. All right, guys, welcome to Backstage Pass. Uh, Jill and I launched this over a year ago uh, once COVID hit. And um, it's just a great way to encourage you as creatives uh, to spend time with Papa God about your calling and what does that look like? So backstage pass comes from Hebrews 6, mm -hmm. where it says stay anchored behind the veil with God. And so that behind the veil is what we're getting backstage pass. So God is inviting us as his VIPs to go backstage with him, to have a conversation and to stay anchored back there. We don't have to leave backstage. We always should be backstage with him. So we're, we're honored and privileged to be here. And we've got, I, we live next to Camp Pendleton, which is a, a military base. So you're probably hearing the helicopter here. <laughs> <laughs> Good choppers in the house. We got bombings going on on the hills over there. Um, so a lot of uh, uh, military maneuvers happening. But anyways, welcome to Backstage Pass, guys. This is episode 23, season two, called Prayer for Today. Uh, Jill has the message for us tonight, and uh, it's all about prayer. Um, welcome, Jill Wyckoff, to the show. Welcome to Backstage Pass. Well, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Wyckoff. Um, I'm happy to be here, uh, <laughs> shining bright from New Mexico here. Um, Prayer. So I have just been really, you know, we have been traveling quite a bit. And uh, one of the things we've been talking to people about is the power of prayer for their, their everyday lives, um, for their calling, um, their assignments, especially in this season, there's a lot of stuff going around. Um, and so, you know, we have just been talking about the power of prayer and prayer does work. And um, we pray until something happens and uh, push, right? Pray until yep. something happens. And we've just seen some really cool things. And uh, with our ministry, uh, Kingdom Creativity International and Kingdom Writers Association, we have a personal intercessory team, a pit crew. Um, now we got who, a lot of acronyms going on here. Jesus I know, Christ. right? We're doing it. We're doing it Bush. following Jessica's lead. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so um, they pave, our prayer team paves the way for everything we do. And it's yeah. so necessary. Yeah. And so we've been talking to people about having their own pit crew. And we've just been seeing um, some miraculous things happen. Um, our prayer teams have been praying in chapters. Uh, our writing, writing chapters around the country, writing chapters are popping up. Um, they've been praying in leaders for those leaders are coming to the surface. Um, we had some spiritual warfare on one of our trips and, uh, you know, they were boom on it and, uh, they were praying and, um, everything turned out beautifully, victoriously. These are the kind of things. And, you know, we, we know, um, we all have testimonies, right? We yeah. all have testimonies. And we actually, when we first uh, were saved um, and entering into this, um, this powerful walk with the Holy Spirit, we, uh, we created a, a web page and a, a Facebook group called The Greater News, yeah. where we shared answers to prayers, miracles, signs, wonders, and answers to prayers, right, Bray? We have so many of them, right? Yep. We have over 1,500 categorized miracles um, on our website, thegreaternews.com. It's still there. Um, and we also have a Facebook page um, called The Greater News. We have over 40,000 people that likes it, uh, but we have a group that we started. Not, a, not many people know about the group. We don't advertise it much, but um, basically it's just getting the body to understand that miracles are happening. Those miracles don't happen without the key ingredient, and that is prayer right. you don't just walk around and 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 you know poof stuff happens we speak into those things and 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 god partners with us and there's this collision between the unseen and the seen that happens and um and prayers are answered 
prayers are requested, prayers are answered. It's life. It's doing life with God. And he designed prayer. He designed it, not us. It's not man-made. God designed this. And if you want to read John 17, you will hear our Lord and Savior, Jesus, praying to Father God on our behalf that we would know him as he knows the Father. It's a beautiful prayer, John 17. Yeah. Love that. Love that. We have so many testimonies. We could be here all night uh, talking to you about how uh, so many prayers have been answered. Let's go. Um, but... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, <laughs> but we do want to just... Um, just give you, you know, there's, there's a lot of different kinds of prayers. Um, there's there, but we have, we have a short amount of time. So I just want to jump in first with this great quote by Stanley Jones, who's a missionary and a, uh, who is a missionary and a theologian. Mm. And he says this prayer is surrender, surrender to the will of God and cooperation with that will. If I throw out a boat hook from the boat, and catch hold of the shore and pull. Do I pull the shore to me or do I pull myself to the shore? Uh -huh. Prayer is not pulling God to my will, but the aligning of my will to the will of God. Yes. And I just love that. That's so that is what prayer is, aligning our will to the will of God. And so I want to talk a little bit about how we pray. And uh, the Bible talks about praying in the spirit. And uh, yes, that could be praying in a spirit, a spirit language in tongues as people um, will refer them to. Uh, but it's in praying in harmony with the word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and we pray with faith. We pray with faith. Um, Mark 11, uh, 22, 25 says, have faith in God. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Um, and then it goes on from there. But praying with faith is so important. Um, that's another, another way of how we pray. We pray in the spirit. Uh, by the will of God, with our faith, and we pray in the name of Jesus, yeah. right? John 16, 24, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Come on. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And, you know, our authority doesn't come from our experience. It comes from the delegated authority um, of God himself in Jesus. So we pray with authority in the name of Jesus. We pray to the Father through the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Trinity, baby. The Trinity, baby. Trinity. So what do you have to say about that, about those things, Ray Wyckoff? Oh, that's what are you thinking? On. So what are you good. thinking? I don't want to do all the talking. What are you thinking? <laughs> I like it when you talk. There's such authority when Jill talks. <gasps> By the way, you're really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Uh, you stop know, it some stop it some more. It's 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 fun, guys, when when prayer is answered, right? Um, not so much fun when prayer is not answered. Or is it not answered? Sometimes God answers the prayer in ways that we don't see necessarily or don't understand, or it comes late, later than we wanted it to, but it always comes perfectly on time. Um, and that's where we have to walk that out. So it's a divine tension, right? So some of us are still, still had prayers that weren't answered and we go, what happened, God? Like I prayed and you said anything I ask in your name, it will be right. So we hear the scripture and, um, and, and to be honest, guys, we don't have all the answers, right? But we do see that God does answer prayers and that we've seen the miraculous happen. And it doesn't happen a hundred percent of the time, 
but it does happen. And so when that one time happens where something isn't answered or appears to be not answered, do we stop praying? Do we abandon ship? Do we bail on the one that created the universe? Do we bail on him like everybody bailed on him when he went to the cross because they didn't understand the mission of Christ, the mission God had set in place? When we don't understand things as humans, we abandon it because we need, we get so uh, like hiccuped with, we have to know. It's like, you know, my, one of my daughters, she's, she's very nosy. She has to know everything. <laughs> and, 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 and it's She'll like, say that about herself, actually. And, and I, and I say that openly and because she knows. <laughs> she says but, that about herself. Yeah. What I'm saying is that as people in general, we want to know, we want to be in there. And, and I think some of that comes with the fall, you know, when, when, you know, Satan, gave adam and eve you know if you you know you could be like god you you could be in the know you can know good versus evil and and uh, so that's a a part of the struggle that we have in our in our nature is to want to know these things um and and god is so beautiful he does an amazing job at what he does just being him and uh we have to sit there and go I think that's why the, the 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 Israelites had the stones of remembrance. Yeah. Because we have to remind ourselves what he has done. Yeah. Constantly we have to remind ourselves because we get so caught up with the life and the world and the struggles and the pains and the sufferings that it's hard sometimes to look back and remember all the things God has done for us. Right. And so we can have fresh eyes to see what he's doing in the now. If we stay in the negative, we're going to live in the negative and we will miss all the positive. But it doesn't mean we ignore the negative. But what we're looking at is we're looking at the positives from the negative area that we live in you know we live in a negative world let's just be honest it's a it's a world controlled by little s uh satan he doesn't deserve a capital s so i call him little s um please join me in that (laughs) it's a movement (laughs) i i just think that uh you know that's that's the enemy you know we're we're we need to be reminded of what god has done in our lives and so if you guys have you know, a stone of remembrance right now that God is bringing to mind, go ahead and post it on, on Facebook. We'd love to hear those comments. Yeah. Like, What is God bringing to your mind right now? He wants you to remember a prayer that was answered. Yeah. Because through that prayer that was answered and you remember it, it builds your faith. Your faith meter goes up. And that's where miracles start happening. When our faith meter is up, Yeah. what did Jesus say to all the people that were healed? He said, your faith healed you. <laughs> what? He said, their faith healed them. Their faith in who? They, their faith in Jesus. But it was their faith in him that the healing or the miracle or whatever that prayer was came upon the world or them or in the surroundings, whatever it was. So we believe in who? It's Jesus. Jesus is the right. one. He's the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. So our prayers, as Jill said, we pray to the Father through Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. So that's my that's my take on it right now, Jill. What 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 are you thinking? (laughs) No, I love that. Back to me. Okay. Um, no, I love I love what you're saying, and it's true because sometimes we don't think God is answering our prayers. Um, and that's the time when we need to press in further. And like you said, remember what he has already done. There are times when he does answer our prayers and it does not look the way we wanted it to. Yes. It doesn't follow our expectations. And I think at that point, um, it's really, really important that we um, get with God and look at his word and remind ourselves of who he is, how big he is 
how good he is, that he sees a picture that we don't see, that he sees from a perspective that we don't see, that he knows the, the end from the beginning. And, and, and he, he loves us and he cares for us. And, and if, even if things don't look exactly the way we hoped they would, yeah. our trust is in him. Yes. I think that's just so important because we have all dealt with that before. We've all dealt with losses and disappointments. And we're like, why God? Uh, yeah. Why God? And, and, you know, there are things we will never get to know here, yeah. but we do know that God is good. We yeah. do know that he loves us. We do know that he's not willing that one should, that one should perish. We know the nature of God, which does not shift and it does yeah. not change. And we could be, we could just be uh, firm in that, firm in that. Um, and, you know, uh, when I was taught, when I was thinking about prayer for today and praying his will, of course, uh, the one thing that comes to mind, the first thing that comes to mind is praying scriptures. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of times when we're praying that for me personally, I don't have the words. I want them. I'm just like, but, but, but I don't yeah. know what to say. Right. You feel limited, right. You feel limited. I'm like, I feel so limited. So there's two things I do or, I pray. or, or try praying when you're sick. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. Just, your mind's not there. You just can't think no. clearly. Everything's foggy. You're in pain. You're suffering. You know, the shortest prayer is Jesus, help me. Help me. And and that that's that's a wonderful prayer. We that's our go-to. That's our go-to. And having others around us yes. join us in prayer. Super, super, super important. Prayer people, yes. Right? Okay, that's super, super important. Um, when I don't have words, I pray in the spirit. And not not, you know, not everybody does. Um if you're comfortable with that, or you can ask for that, that's something that you can ask for, um, the spirit language, um, which takes me out of it. And it's, it's just between Holy Spirit and God, and it's just, it's his agenda. And I know that it's his agenda, and I don't have words. So he utters uh, for me. Um, yeah. and the Let's other let, is, let me stop there for a second, because okay. I, I, I just feel like somebody needs to be uh released of this speaking in tongues right it's it's a gift that god gives us and um it's a strange gift it it, it boggles our mind because we're trying to put what does this mean what is this you know gibberish um and i just i just feel like some of you need to just really go for it and uh in your car is a great place as you're driving and yeah. And uh, even have the worship music on. So it kind of washes out, you know, what you're saying. So you're not having complete silence. Um, but just start moaning or groaning, you know, have that unction come inside of you. Just this feeling of like, oh, you know, I just need the God to answer something. I need him so clearly. And you have no words to describe him we will run out of words here in in our dialects so we hit this spot where there's a there's a new language that god breaks and, and and gives us to speak to him he understands us it's not gibberish to him you ever been around a child so many you know as you grow with a child and they speak and anyone coming outside doesn't understand what that child is saying but the parents do they're around it. They understand what that child is communicating. So a prayer language is what it's called, um, or speaking in tongues, is literally just So just just let that that whatever it is fumble out it, it literally you fumble with it Play you feel like it. you're babbling you're you like, like blah, you're blah, blah, blah. and you might be just going blah, 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 blah. you know it starts like that and then it starts evolving into something and you could feel the authority in it when it when it locks and you're like there it is that's the gift that he's talking I just i had to unshackle my tongue and just kind of let it go 
And it's weird. Just be honest, guys. It's weird. It's <laughs> weird. And that's what blows people away because Jill and I went into a church one day and they all started, now we're going to speak in tongues. And literally everyone just started going, ah! and we're like, you get a whole room with everyone speaking in tongues. It's crazy. And we're like, like, we're not going back there. You're like, check, know what they're doing. <laughs> check. We're out. <laughs> and, and we bailed. Right. And, and, um, and God's okay with that. He's like, he's not condemning us. And, and some of you might have feelings where you don't want to speak in tongues. It's, it's a gift. It's up to you to take it. It's up to you to want it. It's up to us to actually use these gifts, all their spirit. There's tons of spiritual gifts, guys. Paul says, one of the greatest is prophecy. I eagerly desire that gift. Go after that one. So anyways, I just wanted to break in and talk about tongues because I think a few of you aren't speaking in it or, or haven't unveiled that gift yet or unwrapped it. Um, and I just, I just break that into you guys uh, to break it off for you guys to try it and go for it and have fun with Papa God and yeah. speak to him. It doesn't, you don't have to speak tongues with other people around. It's just you and Papa God. There's really no need, you know, to speak tongues around others. God will lead you when it's time and you can, you can speak softly under your breath when you're praying for people or you don't have to at all. It's, it's a spiritual language between you and Papa God and it's a prayer. It's powerful. It, it works. And, it, and it's, and it's something that God ordained. It's, it's yeah. scriptural. It's scripture guys. It's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like we can't be against something that God put in there. It's, it's for us. So we can't be against it. We should be for it. And as we fumble around with it, trying to figure it out, it's okay. Let's all figure it. I had to figure it out. We all had to figure it out. You know, some of these people speaking in tongues, they all had to figure it out. Right. So, right. You spoke in tongues before I did. And I really, really wanted to. And Bray prayed over me and I didn't right away. Um, and eventually I did. And of course it does. It feels very, very foreign, foreign on, yeah. off your, off your lips until it doesn't. In the beginning, it feels very strange. Afterwards, it doesn't feel strange after you do it so much. It doesn't feel strange at all. And you really do feel connection, your spirit with the spirit of heaven. You feel, you feel like, oh my gosh, so free because I don't have to have the words. Yeah. The spirit is communicating for me and uh, words can be so limiting sometimes. Um, and so, yes, from your heart, it's like, it's, yes, it's a heart speak. It's like, Ugh, it is. so you just got, ah, it's like, you're just free. It's freeing. It's very, it is freeing. freeing. It's a it free is freeing. Prayer. Yeah. Yes. So we bless you to discover that if you haven't already yeah. discovered it, if that is a gift that you long for, yeah. we bless you receive to receive it, right it right in Jesus name, receive that gift in Jesus right now. name. Yeah. It's yours for the asking and it's yours yeah. for the taking. And it is for today. Take it, it is for today. Prayer for today. Yeah. Um, praying scripture, praying scripture Yes. has always been a good idea. Because it's God's word and you can, it's super easy to do. You can go to your search engine of choice, duck, duck, go Google, whatever that is. And you can, you can, you can search out scripture on healing scripture on uh, provision, um, you know, and it will give you scriptures. So even if you don't yeah. know where to find the address in the Bible, you can look it up and it will give you just words that you can pray and press into, Yeah, um, which is so powerful. Saying, Let this be my prayer. And then you just read that scripture. Oh, yeah. I, I, we had one of the testimonies we had on the greater news. I interviewed this, this woman in uh, uh, New York. She cut off her, her finger. Um, this top part of her finger it was completely severed, gone. And uh, she was going to the hospital or the doctors to get it looked at. And they were going to try to try to reattach the finger. Or, I don't know, something like that. But before she went, she, she was praying for like two weeks straight. Um, um, this scripture over her finger. 
and she watched it grow back. And literally the day before she went to the doctor, it was like boop, a new brand new finger. Fingers don't grow back, guys. It's an it's <laughs> one of those impossible things. But with God, anything's possible. But the one thing I asked her, I go, what did you do? And she's like, I just prayed. I think it was a passage from Isaiah. She just prayed this this passage over her finger every single, like seven times a day for like two weeks. Come on. So Power good. Scripture. Come on, guys. Come on, scripture. Um, Jesus himself said, pray then in this way. Pray then in this way, yeah. our father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That's what Jesus prayed. We see it in Matthew. We see it in Luke. And um, one of the things I like to do, and um, I'm going to kind of end with this, if this is okay. Yeah. Is to take bring us, that bring us prayer. Home, Jill, bring us home. Take that prayer and break it down and fill it in with my own stuff. Now, this is something that you can do any day of the week and fill it in with your own stuff and with and just just extend it with your heart. Um, add your prayer into it. And uh, I know this is um, it's not something where I do, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna read. Typically I don't read this because I have actually thought of what I wanted to say and how I wanted to, to fill in. So I'm going to read my poem, my poem, my prayer, sorry, yeah. I am a poet, but <laughs> I am gonna read my prayer in, in this format yeah. um, to model what you can do. And I think this is a great way to pray for today. I think, also, I think also Jill's pointing out that you can write down your prayers. You can. Right. You know, some of us have just a way, just another way of expressing and communicating with God. You can write your prayers down in the journal, like praying to God. And that's a great way to capture your prayers because then you can go back and see what God has answered and just kind of check. He answered that. And yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And I also put uh, uh, scriptures on post-its and pray them yeah. around. I know you've, you've seen them around the house, pray. So, <laughs> I uh, I'm, I'm like, Oh, new post-it, <laughs> new prayer. <laughs> um, so here I'm, I'm going to uh, kind of close with this. Um, and I'm going to pray it over you and just yeah. pray it all together with, with all of us. I'll just, I'll just know that you're joining me in this yeah. prayer. Receive okay. it. Guys. Receive it. Our father, who is in heaven, our heavenly father, father of everyone, not just my father, but our father, the father of all mankind, the righteous and the unrighteous, the good and the evil, the left and the right, the Christian, the Jew, the Muslim, the Buddhist, the agnostic and the atheist, father of everyone, regardless of what religion, culture or belief they have, whether they are lost or saved, rich or poor, father of every human who ever existed and whoever will exist because you made us. Your DNA runs through our veins. We are made in your image and likeness. We are your offspring. You are our father, not like any earthly father with limitations. But our heavenly father, God, a father who loves us perfectly, without condemnation, without limitation, we pray that all your offspring would have revelation of your love for them, that they would have eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to understand who you are to them, a good, good father who sacrificed everything for his children. Hallowed be your name. Holy are you, Father. We lift up your name. Your name, Jesus, is above every other name. You are the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. God, the Father. God, the Son. God, the Spirit. You are the one true God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. We pray to honor you with our lips and our lives. 
We pray that others would come to the light of your salvation and recognize you as Lord over their lives and over all. Lord of heaven and earth, creator of everything, supreme, sovereign, your kingdom come. Lord, we pray your kingdom be made manifest, your lordship in and through us over every area of our lives, that you would extend your kingdom through us so that your righteous kingdom is seen and experienced, not just by the church, but by all your offspring. God, we pray your lordship over our families, our cities, our nation. God, we thank you that we get to play our part in preparing the kingdom for the return of the king. Help us to walk this mission out steadfast with character, virtue, faith, and strength in truth, power, and love. God, we pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Not my will, but thy will. Your will reflected on earth as it is in heaven. Your will for righteousness. Your will for sin, sickness, and death to be abolished. Your will for people to have relationship with your son, Jesus Christ, and for them to live according to his word and his ways. We pray your will for evil to be exposed and wickedness to be canceled. Right. Lord, I pray your will be done in my life and in the lives of my family members. Yes. Lord, I pray your will be done in and through our government, yes. our education system, our medical system, our arts and entertainment industry, and yes. our churches. Yes. yes. I pray your will be done on earth as it is in heaven throughout the nations and throughout our culture and all societies on earth. God, I pray to release my will for yours, especially when I don't get prayers answered in the way I want, or I can't see past my circumstances or through whatever situation is happening around me. I thank you, God, that you see the end from the beginning, that you are all knowing and all powerful. And I thank you that you are good, very, very good. God, give us this day our daily bread. God, I thank you that you take care of us, that you are Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees us and provides for us. Your will tells us not to be anxious for anything, not our lives or what we eat or drink or wear, just as you provide for the birds and the fields you provide for us. And not only provision for our physical needs, but also for our spiritual needs. Yeah. Thank you, God, for the scriptures with which we can feed ourselves every day, growing healthy and strong on the word of the Lord. Yes. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. God, I ask for forgiveness for my sins and ask Holy Spirit to help me forgive anyone that has caused me pain. Your word says, for if you forgive other people for their offenses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive other people, then your father will not forgive your offenses. So God, I do forgive. I do not want to live in unforgiveness. I want to experience the freedom of living in your grace, both by giving it and receiving it. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you, God, that you do not lead us into temptation, but you do deliver us from evil. It has always been your plan to deliver us from every form of evil through your son, Jesus Christ. We praise you, Jesus, our Redeemer. You've rescued us from the pit and crowned us with love and compassion. You've put eternity in our hearts and given us victory over the evil one. You set us free and empowered us with your spirit to walk in the fullness of our destiny as your sons and daughters. Thank you that we get to shine bright for you and fulfill the calling you've placed on our lives. God, we submit our prayers to you and to you be, be the honor and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Wow. Amen. Guys, <clears throat> it's important <clears throat> to get around people that are praying for you and with you. Um, you can't, we can't always just be on our own doing it on our own all the time prayer is powerful um you know the prayers of a righteous man is powerful and effective 
but uh, also God created church, created his body, created um, community. Um, and there's certain areas that you guys are called to go into um, that requires additional backup and support. It requires prayer to get in any, everything we do requires prayer, prayer. Let me just put that out there. Worship and prayer are key to everything, guys. Um, so get yourself, uh, if you can, a, a pit crew, a, your personal intercessory prayer team. Um, and uh, that, that they're going to be praying for what you're called to do. Some of you are called to be on those, those direct front lines um, where the enemy's shooting real bullets and you need to fire back real bullets, uh, missiles, grenade launchers, um, bombs, you know, to, to, to really just punch the enemy in the face and knock his teeth out. Um, and, and we can laugh and joke, uh, you know, about these things because, you know, it, it sounds kind of funny, but it's so true that a lot of us uh, don't really understand what we're getting ourselves into. And, and then we step into it and you're like, wow, hey, it, it's no joke when I'm going on a missions trip and there's voodoo or there's witchcraft or right. you're talking to a witch doctor just around the corner and you've got no support, you know what I mean? It's like, there's certain, some of us are in those areas uh, that are dark, 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 that, that, that you know, requires that. Um, look at the disciples, some of the disciples trying to cast out a demon, um, and they couldn't, and they came back, and they're like, God, we, you know, why couldn't we, you know, this one required prayer and fasting, Right. So there was something else involved with, you know, a prayer behind prayer and fasting. Um, there's something there. You know, we need to unlock those things with the Lord and really go into scripture. And, and yeah. we realize there's differences depending on where we're at. Um, breakthrough for family members. You guys, I was, an, I was an atheist. I didn't even believe there was a God. And there were people praying for me for my salvation. Um, that salvation came, those prayers were answered. Um, and so those were multiple prayers. That was an attack force against the enemy that had a, you know, their clutches and their, their hooks and knee. And so how many people out there have the enemy's hooks are in them? And uh, we need fisher uh, fishermen to go over there and pull those hooks out gently through prayer and free them up of all the hooks. Like a fish swimming in water has taken the bait and taken the hooks of all the lies that the enemies dipped into the water and deceived us. We've taken it and we're just, we're just running around with hooks everywhere. And this is, this is the best analogy I can come up with guys. So we come and grab this fish and we start plucking those hooks out. And then we release them back into the water free of the hooks and 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 what is their calling in life to do um and and to set them free and to do it so um very important guys prayer is powerful and effective it's no joke uh the enemy is real um and what we're up against is real and our prayers are so real and yeah. they matter they matter 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 so when we just don't, I think we need to get to the point where we don't flippantly just throw out little casual prayers. I think we need to be very um, um, precise as much as possible and declare with authority um, with those prayers. And some of those words that we said we just can't even think of, but I just have the authority of the unction inside of me. You start releasing it with tongues, with the, your spiritual language, your prayer language and let God answer those prayers. But let's stop with the little, you know, um, life vest, life uh, ring prayers. And let's, let's send the uh, battalion of boats of prayers. You know, let's send the, the Coast Guard um, with their, with, you know, let's, let's, let's uh, man up, arm up and get out there and, and, and really understand the power of our prayer and our words matter. Yeah. And, you know, as I said, there's, we don't have time to go into all the ways you can pray, 
but certainly, you know, in the spirit, certainly um, by the word. And, uh, and I, will, I will propose something else for your consideration. Um, an intercessor is not just uh, an individual who's been to church and been trained up and all of that. We are all called to yes. intercede. We are all intercessors. Pray for one all of us. Pray every for us. one of us. And it is needed desperately in this hour. Um, we all should be interceding uh, for each other, for our nation, for our society. Um, and so many more things. So, um, and it is for all of us to do. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it, guys. Let's do it. Oh, another great backstage pass. And um, thank you, Jill, for that amazing word. And uh, we thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer. This, this, what you designed, God, for us mm -hmm. um, as believers. You gave us this weapon called prayer um and, and the authority to wield it and the authority to wield it god we yes. thank you so much for for your word and the power of your word and the effectiveness of you answering the prayer um and we thank you for the the blood of christ that gives us the authority um and uh, we're just so thankful so so thankful for you god Yes. And we will praise you all the days of our lives, no matter what happens, yep. whatever we see, whatever we endure. Um, uh, we will we will go all out for you in this world because we know we have a home waiting for us there with you. And so we can lose it all here, but we've gained everything with you because in Christ there is no lack. And we love you so much, God. And yeah. so we bless you guys in the name of the Lord. Yes. And uh, we just pray for an increase in power and authority over your prayer life. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and I'm looking forward to hearing testimonies about you guys receiving your tongue language um, and you, you, the power of your, the, the spiritual language of tongues. So yeah. Jill, anything else? Nope. We love you. Love and, you. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. And I believe next Wednesday we'll be here together. Yes. Both of us in I'm Albuquerque. Fly, I'm flying out to New Mexico. I'm going to you live. Yep. I'm, I'm flying out Albuquerque. Tuesday and we'll be live from New Mexico. Probably right where Jill is, where that, her beautiful painting <laughs> behind her is. So, <laughs> all right. We love see you. Next week. Love you. Prayers up.